So, Musikmesse 2013. Wir haben es endlich an den Stand von DW von Drum Workshop geschafft. Und es gibt ein paar neue interessante Snare Drums. Und wir haben hier als allererstes die Thin Aluminum Variante. Uh, Jim, that's a special metal snare we haven't seen before, right? Yeah, that's correct. Thanks, Mo. Thanks for having me, by the way. Uh, what we have here, Mo, is this is a thin one mil shell Rolled, rolled shell anyways, and some of the characteristics, obviously it's a, a flat sort of finish on it, right, in a, in, a, in a brushed aluminum look, if you will, but has our true hoops, has our, has our uh, mag throw-off strainer, okay, and the characteristics of an aluminum drum, uh, full body sound, sensitive, right, very good for multi-purpose as far as recording and whatnot, so very, a workhorse drum. Well, and usually the shells are a bit thicker. That's correct. With the, the, the thinner the shell, the lower the fundamental is going to be in it, so a nice full body sound. So it's a collector series. That's correct. Uh, it's available in two sizes, 14 by 5.5 and, and 14 by 6.5. And That's correct. And it's already shipped, right? That's correct. It's available right now. It's new for 2013. And we already have it at Session Music in Frankfurt and in Waldorf. Uh, absolutely check out the snare drum. And I, the, the thing I love most about the uh, actually the Mac throw off is the 3 p butt end. Yeah, yeah. I, bet. I was going to bring that up on this one. I thought yeah. we'd be able to see it. Let's show it on the EQ no, snare. No problem. No that's, problem. Another, that's another deal breaker, I yeah. think. Oh, there you go. What we're looking at here, this is our EQ snare. We could talk about that in a second, but since you brought up the strainer, the nice thing about the 3P position or the 3 position butt plate is it allows you on the fly to change your snare setting without having to go to the side and loosen it up or whatnot. You basically have three settings where you can go kind of, kind of looser, tighter, and then as loose as you go here. So you start loose, go to medium, and you'll hear it tighten up the tightest. Okay, so let's say you're looking for a big, fat, you know, let's say it's a, it's a ballad, right? You want to have it a little looser, you fly it to the open side. You want to have something really pop for something funky, you slide it back. So it's on the fly change. Nice I feature. even use it between like uh, the chorus and the verse sometimes. You, you, you can do that, absolutely. It, it, it gives you instant versatility, which is really nice. So let's talk EQ snare, what does it do? It yeah, looks the, it, as if someone has taken a swing at it with a saw, but it's uh, on purpose. Yeah, I would think, I think it's planned out, exactly right. What it allows you to do, the vents here basically allow you to change the sound to get a more open sound, or I guess I just call it a less, a less resonance on a tighter sound. Uh, you can you can open the you can open the vents to different degrees for 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 small nuanced differences in sound. So there's two vents that we can switch top, top and bottom. bottom. Yep, you got it. And this one is with a satin hardware. That's correct. And, and, a, and a satin oil finish, absolutely. Satin oil finish, and it's is it available in any other specialty lacquer stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, you can get it. You can get it in pretty much any of our any of our collector series finishes. You can get it in. So just ask at the uh, dealer of your choice. Hopefully, Session Music, and we're gonna move on to something very very special now. Follow us. So, let's move over here. We have a snare drum that you guys built together with Sabian. The symbol manufacturer. Yeah, we're really excited about this one. I know you want to get a shot here. Really excited about this. this is called our DW Sabian Vault Snare. And what this is all about in this case is a joint collaboration. We're really proud to do something with Sabian here. The real interesting thing is we've had great success with our edge snare drums. Sort of the, 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 the idea behind the edge was to have a wood core and in most cases the metal edge rings, okay? And what that what that does for you is it gives you the bite of a metal drum with the body of a wood drum, so the combination. Very successful drum for us over the years, so we looked at it and thought, how can we, how can we kind of take it to the next level, right? And so in this case, what we did is, we collaborated with Sabian, we took some of their symbols, and there's some great video online of this, where they actually melted down some Sabian symbols, okay, to get, to make the edge ring. And not just okay. any symbols. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Some of their artist symbols, some of the vault symbols, exactly right. So this is some, some of the premium stuff that they, that they some of the premium product they put out, vault, melted down, made these edge rings, the center, the center, the core center has a very interesting story in that it's a, it's a piece of, it, it, it is a, it is a birch core, right? Birch by itself, a very short attack, okay? And in this case, anyways, this birch, this birch core came from Moosehead Lake in Maine, and it was underwater for 200 years, okay? So it's going to be a very tight pour, right? Because it's, it's been underwater for so long, and it's a, it's a, it's a terrific kind of tribute and sort of collector series drum. 
And you have like a special hardware finish as well. We yeah. haven't seen that before. Yeah, that's correct. It is it is a unique uh, a unique finish to sort of match sort of the antique finish of the of the uh, of the edge rings and stuff. So yes. So and all the other features we know from the edge snares already. Three P butt plate. We have the max throw off. Correct. We have some uh, true hoops as well. And as we can see on the certificate signed by uh, John Good himself, That's it's correct. number two of 50. That's correct. We, we produced 50 of these and we had 25 for the domestic market in the United States and 25 for the international market. They are all sold out to our dealers, but, but, it, but, but our friendly consumers out there can find them at our dealers by, I'm sure, you know, searching for them out there. I guess so. Well, so that's pretty much the, all the news we have for DW for this year. And yeah, guck noch mal rein bei uns bei Session. The aluminum is schon da. Uh, one snare we couldn't show right now because it's on stage yeah. is the concrete snare yeah, drum. The concrete snare, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's a five mil thick. And what it's made of is soapstone, and it's basically pulverized soapstone held together with an elastomer or a glue, okay? The interesting thing about it is that 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 particular substance or compound is basically impervious to weather change. Not that, not that most drums today are, are very well made, but what I'm saying here is that is that heat or cold will basically not affect this drum. So it's a very unique in that in that in that respect. Interestingly enough, the sound characteristics of this drum are it is a very loud, very direct sounding drum. Not ultra dynamic and has a very a, a, a pretty a pretty direct uh, tuning range, if you will. But it goes off literally like a shotgun. So I've played it and it, I think it divided yeah. my hair in yeah, the middle. There you go. And, and and that's exactly what it's meant to do. If you're looking for something with a great crack, you know, uh, an immediate sort of. Uh, not a lot of resonance, just a great uh, uh, initial attack. That's the drum for you. It's going to be on display in the Agora stage, so I'm sure they can hear it live. I think uh, Rick Latham is playing with yeah, it. I think so too, and I think Bo Stricker too, one of our favorites. Awesome snare drums. Also, guck mal rein. Concrete snare, 14 mal 5 and a half, 14 mal 6 and a half in Frankfurt schon zum Anspielen bei Session. Auch die uh, Aluminum snare ist anspielbar bei uns. Und die Wall snare leider schon nicht mehr da, aber trotzdem wollten wir euch unbedingt zeigen. Super Teil. So, thank you, Jim, for having us. Have a great fair. Thanks, Mo. Thanks for, thanks for your time. So, schaut mal rein bei uns bei Session. Da gibt's noch alles, was es sonst von DB Neues gibt. Ciao.